Apex Legends showed Pathfinder some love by providing more of his lore in the Fight Night cinematic trailer. But Pathfinder's backstory isn't the only thing we were given in this beautifully crafted animation. Take a deep dive with me and do all the things hidden throughout the trailer that you might have missed. We're shown the city of Malta that is located on the planet Samathi, just below Olympus. We see an ex-cop, Victor Maldera, trying to take a criminal named Knox down. We know Knox to be Alexander Knox, aka Caustic. We're given snapshots of the evidence Maldera has been able to gather over the years, and he's tied Caustic to the Humbert Labs case. For a little bit of context, Humbert Labs was the frontier's leading manufacturer of pesticide gases to protect the frontier colony's crops. Caustic was one of their best scientists, but he began testing his corrosive gases on living things. He was eventually caught by Humbert Labs' chief, and their confrontation ended with Caustic gassing the labs and killing the chief. Humbert Labs went up in flames, and Caustic was presumed dead. Going back to the video, we see Maldera working as a security officer for a restaurant where Pathfinder is struggling at his job as a waiter. An altercation occurs that results in a man dead. As part of his interrogation method, Maldera accesses Pathfinder's data memory. There are several flashes of Pathfinder failing his jobs at multiple places, and these flashes actually give us more information than I thought we'd get in one Apex Lore video. Pathfinder had been working at the restaurant where Lobo's family had been killed. He was also working as a weather bot when the planet Typhon exploded. If that planet sounds familiar, there are two major reasons it's ringing a bell. Remember in Titanfall 2 when the IMC found an ancient weapon dubbed the Fold Weapon? That was found on Typhon. This was when the IMC and Militia were at war, fighting for control over the frontier. The IMC was part of Hammond Industries seeking natural resources, and the Militia was formed by the frontier colonists defending their home planets. The Fold Weapon was a huge point of contention between the two forces because it had the ability to obliterate planets. However, in the battle for Typhon, pilot Jack Cooper and his Titan BT were able to obtain the Ark, powering the Fold Weapon and destroy it. However, the destruction of the Fold Weapon also resulted in the devastation of Typhon. That's not the end of it though. Typhon is also Wraith's home planet. The destruction of Typhon and the Fold Weapon actually fueled the research and experimentation done on Wraith. Looking back at an IMC report, you can see that a device recovered in the Typhon explosion was used to expose Wraith to the Phase Void. So considering the timeline, we can confirm Pathfinder and Wraith were alive at the end of Titanfall 2's events, which were estimated to be around 30 years from when the Apex games were founded. Pathfinder's memories showed he was also present in the restaurant when Revenant murdered Loba's parents. The animations Revenant enters the window with are exactly the same as his entrance in Loba's flashback cinematic. But Maldera was only interested in seeing more about how Pathfinder was also a window cleaner for Humbert Labs when Caustic gassed everyone and burned the building down, providing him the evidence he needs to take Nox down. However, Pathfinder fast forwards too far and we see a glimpse of his creator, someone he's been trying to find for years. Her name is revealed to be Dr. Amelie P, and we have no idea who she is. But her accent is oddly familiar. She has a French accent and is clearly a scientist if she created Pathfinder. The only other French Apex characters we've met are Watson and her father, who was a brilliant electrical engineer. Watson's real name is Natalie Paquette. What if Dr. Amelie P stands for Dr. Amelie Paquette? In an earlier frame, we saw Pathfinder babysitting a small child, and in the crib was a plushie that kind of resembled Nessie. I know this could be a stretch, but what if that was Watson from Pathfinder's early memories? Before any questions can be further asked, Maldera is interrupted by a mob leader who wants to kidnap Pathfinder. Maldera and Pathfinder escape but are shot down by lightning and given a choice of surrender. The mob is shown to have access to Spectres, an upgraded Marvin combat model who are wielding Volt SMGs. Spectres were originally manufactured by Hammond Robotics in the Frontier Wars, which brings the question of who exactly this mob is. Their group's dragon symbol is all over their uniforms and even tattooed on their bodies. Whoever they are, they don't care about holding up promises as their Spectres shoot Maldera who is about to surrender. Pathfinder takes out the Spectres but is shot by the mob member leading the rush. He's then rescued by Maldera, who's alive, and Pathfinder saves them both by grappling away from the crashing ship. Even though they land safely, Pathfinder took on too much damage and his system is deleting corrupted files. Maldera records the evidence of Caustic still alive, but also grants Pathfinder's wish of recording and saving his last memories he has of Dr. Amelie, telling Pathfinder he's the greatest hope of the Outlands surviving. For even further context, the Outlands are a group of planets on the outer edges of the frontier that survived the frontier wars, and the remaining survivors and settlers migrated to this untouched region to to settle and start over. This is also where King's Canyon, on the planet Solus, was named the site of the new Apex Games. Interestingly enough, Solus is also Watson's home planet, which further drives my theory that maybe Watson's mother is the creator of Pathfinder. Maldera thanks Pathfinder and calls him friend before leaving, and Pathfinder is shown to survive his damages later on, but without his previous files, which explains his memory loss today in the Apex Games. 
There were so many hidden treasures throughout this trailer, and nothing has been confirmed for sure, but it's always fun to get more backstory and theorize on the hints we've been given. Do you think Dr. Amelie could be Watson's mother? What are your theories after watching the cinematic? Let me know in the comments below, and for more on Apex lore and news, keep it here at IGN.